Yo, what is going on guys? It's currently 11 a.m. in the morning and the update has went live. I usually never awake uh, this early. I actually went to bed. I, I, was, I was trying to go to bed early to wake up early today. I didn't fall asleep till like 6.30 a.m. But I woke up at 10.30, like I'm pretty awake, so I'm, I'm feeling okay. Uh, but yeah, I, I woke up to see if the uh, the update was out. It wasn't. Close my eyes for like another 15 minutes. Check again. Oh, update's out. So, update. I'm like, alright, time to start playing Skill Corvus, man. I, I need I need to check out this buff. So, I start off this fight with a 5-hit combo, which I shouldn't have done. Um, but then, literally, it takes 5 hits. 5 hits to ramp Mole Man up. 5 heavy attacks. And that's it, dude. Then you're, you're, you're ramped up. So, watch. One more heavy attack here. Each heavy attack uh, gives us 4 charges. Five heavy attacks put us to 20 charges, and now every single hit that mole, my mole god will do will be a critical strike. And also, whenever mole man crits, he applies a bleed. So every single hit is gonna start applying bleeds as well. So you can see, man, this is crazy. And, and, and while we're in frenzy, you can see that. We're staying in frenzy. Like there is no risk in this entire fight of falling out of frenzy, and I just need to weave in a heavy attack every now and again, and it's super easy. So you know, I'll bait out a heavy attack uh, or a special attack, and then boom, just counter with a heavy. Four charges, four charges, and it, they last so long. It's so easy to keep up. And another cool thing about Mole Man is that he has his own way to get openings. You know. Kind of similarly to Ghost, um, it's not quite as good as Ghost, but it's you can just take a, a hit on the block and you go unstoppable, and then boom, you can just counter. So yeah, it's not it's not quite as good as Ghost because you need to take a little bit of block damage, but it's pretty nice and it's very useful in a fight that has like limber and stuff where you know you don't want to just parry a whole bunch and you can't rely on that. You can also intercept, but it's just nice to have a uh, another way to get openings so you can see i'm using it here and it's it's great man and we just keep throwing these l2s you can see every single hit on the l2 is critical it's also unblockable while we're in frenzy which an unblockable special two that crits on every single hit who does that sound like oh yeah cosmic corvus huh that's that's funny uh, but yeah so you can see his his, this is with suicides, and the actual damage on each strike is a bit underwhelming. Um, but however, you do gotta factor in all the damage that you're getting from bleeds, you know, which which can be nice to have that damage just coming from another source. You know, maybe if there's a damage cap on a node like rage or safeguard or something, you know, it is nice to have a secondary damage to also rely on. Um, in some cases, you know. Uh, however, Mole Man does increase his critical damage rate, so those crits do get bigger the more health that you lose. It's not that's in his signature ability. My my Mole Man's only Sig 40. It's it's really not the best signature ability. I really wish they changed it and uh, gave you some other way, some other way to to increase that critical damage rate. Um, but yeah, right now it's just you gotta lose health, which is kind of annoying. Um, but Mole Man also gains physical resistance for each one of his monster mass charges, which is pretty nice uh, because you know it, it. If you get hit, you slip up. I got hit a couple times in this fight. I didn't really didn't get hit that hard because we have that physical resistance, which is helping out. Uh, right here, I accidentally get pushed to an L3. I was like, ah, crap. Okay, uh, but the L3 actually gives, I believe, it's 10 monster mass charges. So I will right, we'll, we'll watch and see. What we get? I think I drop it at like 14. Um, oh, yeah, I'm trying to bait this L2 out. Come on, Red Hulk, dude, let's go. Uh, okay, so we drop the L3 at 4, 3, 7, 6. Okay, so we drop it here. <laughs> Stab Giganto Jr. <laughs> uh, push up the glasses. Get him with the L3. If you guys have never seen Mole God's L3, well. You're in for a treat, here you go. And then yeah, you can see my, my charges go up to, shoot up to 16, so we get 10 charges from that. So it's just another way to get your charges up. It may be in a matchup if you can't really parry heavy at the start. You know, you can't always just build up to the special three. It's a way to get 
a good stack of monster mass charges really quick uh but yeah this red hulk is dying out one more combo here and he's dead so as you saw once we got into frenzy we easily maintained it throughout the entire fight and after that first combo of heavy attacks every single strike was critical it's pretty nutty man i saw like 167 hits now what i wanted to do was jump into some more recent content we got uh, variant six, uh, the villain variant, which Mole Man is a villain. So, I mean, Karate Mike actually did, I think he did like 100% of variant six, like first day, pretty much using just his Mole Man, his six star Mole Man. Uh, I loved it. Uh, so, yeah, that was before he got buffed. So, we're bringing in Mole Man here post buff today. And we're going on this path that has bleed vulnerability. So, while the defender is bleeding, your attack gets increased by, I believe, is like 200%. Um, and Mole Man, as soon as we get in a frenzy, we're just bleeding him a crap ton. So, yeah, uh, it's Void here. We shrug off the suicides at the start, which is really nice, so we don't have to worry about Void doing damage over time. And yeah, every single strike we do is applying bleeds. That includes our special attack strikes. So you can see he has 15 bleeds right now. <laughs> Uh, it's it's pretty sick dude and uh, applying bleeds on every single hit also pairs very well with the despair mastery uh, and also having deep wounds so you're able to keep those bleeds up and as soon as you get I don't I think it's like 15% per debuff so once you have like seven bleeds up boom you can just turn off their regen and counter some annoying regen fights with with your bleed debuffs like it's just nice to have that you know uh, mole man it's pretty it's pretty cool uh he also like i said he shrugs off suicides he shrugs off other debuffs as well uh the only unfortunate part is that once he's in frenzy he loses his ability to shrug off debuffs um which it's kind of annoying but you just kind of gotta change how you play with him which you guys are going to see on the final fight here where i have to take a real different approach it's a uh, daredevil hell's kitchen with biohazard so i need to fight biohazard with mole man but like i said can't go into frenzy because then I'll just die to debuffs without shrugging him. But you guys will see that at the end. That's the last fight of the video. Uh, that's the last fight on this path. So, All right. So now we get into this Ebony Maw. And this fight taught me a very good lesson that Mole Man is not the best counter to Ebony Maw. And it's not uh, because of... Well, I guess... Well, I don't think my guaranteed crits were missing, actually. Let's, let's see. Yeah, I see they're not missing, which is weird. Huh. That's actually... I don't know if that's a bug or not. Uh, but it's just because of our heavy reach is why Mole Man is not the best counter to Ebony Ma. You see, we whiff in those heavy attacks, and I think it was Cam that was saying if we could just get a little bit of a slide on Mole Man's heavy just to reach a little bit further. Uh, I think John said he'd look into it, but it looks like we didn't get no slide, man. Mole Man's heavy attack, it, it just needs to reach a little bit further. It's It, it really sucks when a character relies on heavy attacks or it's a main part of their kit and their heavy attack they just get shafted animation wise and it's so unfortunate like there's champions like cosmic ghost rider whose heavy attack reach is insane and it doesn't even look like it should be connecting and then there's champions like mole man and mr fantastic who rely on heavy attacks in their kits but they have like no reach at all it's like dude what why i don't understand how that works um like why why that's made to be like that um but yeah <laughs> um once we get that through that that ebony mod this next fight was an absolute joke um she gets special too rinse it they're dead i was having a lot of fun on this path with mole man uh next up here we got a silver surfer and then a red magneto and there's a couple more fights but i'm just gonna skip those so we can get to the boss because it's kind of the same thing going on in these fights uh, Silver Surfer, uh, my plan here was to try to get to get uh, some armor breaks up so that I could uh, maybe heal a little bit from, from willpower. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I ended up just shrugging them off. Let's see here, so yeah, I think he throws it here. Yeah, and you can see we just turned them all into monster mass, which is which is cool. Um, you know, in this example, I was trying to get some willpower healing, but that's fine. And we're going to go for the 5 combo in this unblockable special 2. What I like about Mole Man special 2 is there's a little unblockable passive. But like, you know, Corvus is special 2. It's just, and Ghost special 2 as well. They're both just fully unblockable. 
but like it doesn't have the icon. I don't know why. I like I like that Mole Man does have that that little icon, it's just so you, so you know. So the next fight here, Magneto, is an interesting one. So you know when you're fighting against Magneto, you ideally don't want to bring in a metal champion now after the buff. So but you know normally you don't also want to bring in class disadvantage into a fight. So we aren't metal, which is nice, but we do have class disadvantage and the parries, man, we're like doing fifteen hundred. Um, not sure why. Uh, I know Magneto has like critical or block penetration against metal champs. I th I think I don't know if he has it just normally, but like I don't know the block hits just felt like a lot of damage. But yeah, we get into frenzy now we're critting, um, and yeah the damage output is looking pretty nice. He throws the L two here. Luckily we evade it, and then we're just gonna go for a massive special two. All those bleeds. Um, the bleeds weren't doing much because of his bleed resistance, but we were still benefiting from the bleed vulnerability. So yeah, the Mole Man was just absolutely crushing this path. But then I got to the end of it, and I pulled up to this Daredevil Hell's Kitchen boss, who's probably the hardest boss in variant 6. And I was like, can Mole Man even do this? This has Biohazard, which is the main problem here. I can't just do what I've been doing, get into Frenzy, and just go ham, because then I'm just going to die very fast to the bleed and poison debuff. So... I took a very different approach here, just going for a couple hits at a time, and you'll really see the power of that of the monster mass and of the shrugging ability. So you see, we're just shrugging off those debuffs from Biohazard, and we're slowly, slowly building up to Frenzy. So my, my, my plan is just to get him as low as I possibly can without triggering Frenzy, and then just, just go hard for a massive Frenzy push at the end and try to kill him. I do, I do have Heimdall on the team, uh, so if, if it gets a little close to the end, he could save me. Um, but yeah, so Daredevil Hell's Kitchen, man, this guy's L1. It has so much pushback. It's so annoying in this fight. Uh, I think we're going to get cornered at one point, And it's just, it's kind of sketchy. So yeah, you can see he's already kind of driving me up against the wall. I'm trying to intercept uh, and have him dash at me because there is dash vulnerability, which is increasing our attack. Uh, when he dashes at me and when I attack him, so that is nice. Uh, but yeah, we're, as you can see, we're at 12 monster mass, and after Mole Man's buff, uh, he can get up to 20 before he triggers Frenzy. So we're at 14 right now, gonna drop this special too. I don't think I got the dash vulnerability bonus from that, which was unfortunate, but we're getting him down. Uh, he's down to 60%, but I'm already at 15 monster mass. Once I get 20, we automatically trigger Frenzy. So I'm like, okay, I really... I need to get to my special two to try to get full crits to really zerg him down. Here I get hit a little bit because that special one's just driving me right up against the wall. Just going for some intercepts here. And here <laughs> uh, I also have the Nick Fury evade charges which helped a little bit, uh, helped me assist my evade on the special one. Here I dropped the special two thinking I was going to be in frenzy and I just wasn't. I'm, I'm, I'm one debuff away, boom, we go into frenzy. He's got 30% health left. I'm like, all right, it's time to just go hard. Uh, right here, I get a little bit lucky without triggering any of the biohazard debuffs. Uh, but like I said, I did have Heimdall to give me that indestructible and unstoppable window. And yeah, now that we're fully critting, he's going down pretty quick. And boom, we caught him down. We got, we got a little lucky. He didn't get any bleeds at the end there because uh, he wouldn't have been able to shrug them off. But yeah, there's Mole Man slowing uh, the hardest boss in variant six. So. Guys, that's going to do it for this Mole Man buffed up video, Skilled Corvus, Mole God. I'm very happy with how he's looking now. He's so much better. He's just so much more realistic to play and to maintain his state of frenzy. It's very easy to maintain, as you guys saw on the Red Hulk fight. You can just you can just infinitely crit after that. Uh, you know, like whereas Corvus, uh, you do ha only have a limited amount of charges. Of course, once you build Corvus up, his crits do a lot more damage. However, Mole Man compensates a little bit with his bleeds, but it's just nice to just never run out of charge and to just be able to stay in Frenzy forever. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet, and I really love the unblockable special twos and just how many bleeds you can stack with them. It's very fun. He's very fun to play. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of Mole God after the buff. Do you think he's finally worthy of the Skill Corvus title, or do you think he's been worthy all along? Uh, but if you guys enjoyed, do drop a thumbs up. Let me know which buffed up gameplay you'd like to see next, whether it be Terax, Yellow Jacket, or Kingpin. Uh, and let me know if there's any specific fights you guys would like to see with that. But yeah, let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy. Peace out.